In case you are wondering what a letter of explanation is, it is an official document that states your valid reason for immigrating to Canada. It also offers clarification on contradictory details in the information you filled in while applying for a study permit. For example, you can explain why you are just getting post-secondary education as a mature student or why there are two different names in your documents. This video provides you with much information, so you would want to watch it till the end. Welcome back to our channel. Work Study Visa provide 100% free up-to-date guides to help foreigners like yourself visit, study in, work in Canada or immigrate permanently. Canada is currently the welcoming country in the world and we're excited to assist you come here. If this is your first time visiting, please consider subscribing to our channel, that way you get first-hand information at no cost. Simply hit the subscribe button, share the video and smash the thumbs up to help promote our work. One more thing, feel free to ask your question via the comment section and our staff will respond. Now, let's get back to the topic of the day. Letter of explanation or statement of purpose is not a compulsory prerequisite when applying to study as an international student in Canada. Some designated learning institutions demand that students provide the documents while they are applying to the schools, while some do not. However, it is advisable to include a letter of explanation when applying for a study permit as it offers the immigration officer insight into what you aim to achieve by studying in Canada. Your LOE can be the convincing note that will earn you your Canadian study permit. How to write a letter of explanation. Your LOE needs to be concise, yet as convincing as possible. Immigration officers and admissions officers at the embassy and schools respectively have many applications to attend. You therefore do not want to bore them with long talk. When officers see a long letter, they might be discouraged to read through it. You should keep your LOE short even as you explicitly state your points. Introduction. Your introduction gives the admission or immigration officer a vague idea of who you are. It should include the following your name, highest educational qualification, your major or course of study, the most recent institution you attended, as well as your work experience. Your work experience should include what kinds of works you did, how long you spent doing them, and your achievements. Your age and sex for example, do not matter to the officer attending to your application. If the program you are taking is gender or age sensitive as included in the admission prerequisites, you may include that information in your introduction. The idea is to limit unnecessary information as much as possible so the reader of your letter gets ready access to the needed details. The body. The body of your LOE carries the most vital information. It therefore needs to be well articulated. Your sentences should not be disjointed or the officer will lose connection with your story. The body of your letter of explanation should offer prompt answers to all of the whys and how you intend immigrating or studying in Canada. Conclusion. Writing a letter of explanation for a Canada study permit is as simple as that if you have already followed the steps shown in this video. You only need to include a concise conclusion. In your conclusion, emphasize your intent again and how you understand what it means to be an international student in Canada. Do not forget to include that you will be very glad to return to your home country after your studies so you can build a career based on the knowledge you've gained. While we have provided insight on how to write a letter of explanation for a Canada study permit, we have also included a couple of samples on our website that can guide you in writing yours. Thank you for visiting our channel. We hope this topic was helpful. Just before you go, please don't forget to subscribe, share this video and hit the like button. You can also visit our website for more resources, check the description below. Thanks for supporting our work.